from New York. I'm Bonnie Quinn and this is Bloomberg Markets. Time now for futures in focus. Gold is holding on to modest gains as geopolitical risks linger, while oil edges lower, even as Libya halts loading from its biggest oil field. Joining us from the CME to discuss further is Alan Nuckman, Chief Market Strategist at Bullseye Option. Alan, we're getting very perilously close to the $1,300 mark once again for an ounce right. of gold. Do we get there and stay above it, or is, is there just not enough fear yet in the world? Well, this is the third time a charm possibly in gold, but it hasn't been much of a safety dance. You've got to look at what's happening around us. The stock market's at month lows. We had a VIX explosion in the last couple of weeks and a mm -hmm. big jump up to the highest levels in that fear index since November. But gold hasn't reacted that positively. Last week, we got up to 1306 multi-month highs, but gave it back and is actually down $2 on the week. So I, I'm a little concerned that we haven't seen that positive push through in gold. Let's see if we can sustain above $1,300 on a weekly basis like you talked about but also it is concerning that there's a largest long position by speculators now since October and we know what happened in November so uh, you know I I'm not uh, that intrigued or that bullish by the po by the action in gold so far what about oil futures right now Alan what kind of a play are they plenty of factors depressing them you know odd factors here and there uh, and yet we're still sort of holding in and around the $50 mark absolute battle royale. We are going nowhere. For the first two weeks of August, oil traded in a dollar and a half range between $48.50 and $50. Now, it seems like forever ago, uh, end of July is the last time we closed about $50 a barrel in crude oil. But right now, it's interesting the way that it's responded. Last week, it went down to that 47 level. I know we talked about 47 months and months ago because that is a key level. That's the halfway mark. If you remember, when we were at 52 and we dropped all the way down to 42. So that's an important price pivot and we bounced off that last week and it looks like we're making another attempt on 50 again to shake up this market uh, what I like here is the fact that oil has rallied back even though the dollar has stabilized so it's not just a dollar play anymore that oil's moving on its own but it is just a fundamental fight between the so-called tough talk of OPEC and the US shale producers mm -hmm. uh, ramping up they've increased their rigs doubled the rigs in the last year but that has slowed some yeah, twice in the last month's rig count was down. Our thanks to Alan Nuckman of Bullseye Option for today's Futures in Focus.